So you want to start an outdoor fishing YouTube channel in the year 2023 and is it still viable? I'm going to be brutally honest about the reality of starting a new outdoor fishing channel on YouTube. Hey, what is up guys? Stevie Brave here. Welcome back to the Brave Angler. So today we're talking about should you start an outdoor fishing channel in 2023? You know, and then, you know, further on that, what, what should your expectations be? Well, I did start a fishing channel or outdoor fishing channel in 2023. In fact, we started this channel just a month and a half ago and honestly, things weren't exactly what I was expecting. I just kind of want to cover some of the mistakes I've made thus far. And if you're starting a new fishing channel or fishing in an outdoor channel, outdoor fishing channel, what have you, these are some mistakes that I would definitely uh, take in consideration before you make them yourselves, all right? Mistake number one, not having enough. Even to this day, I keep saying like, I need one more rod, one more reel. I need a boat, I need a kayak. Then this channel will take off, then I'll have everything I need. I need a new camera, another GoPro. And honestly, it's all a crock, like literally a crock. You don't need none of that, all right? All you need is a camera of some sort and a single rod and reel. That's all you need. That's all you need to get started. I mean, if you look at Lojo's channel, Yak Packs, Fishing with Norm, you know, their channel does so well, right? They're not walking around with five rods, you know, with a different bait tied on. They go to Walmart, they find a single rod that they're gonna fish with pretty much the entire time. And they fish the entire time with that one rod. You don't, so you really don't need five rods, five rods and reels. Cause let me tell you guys, I've spent well over two grand in fishing equipment. And we only got 16 videos, but then it was, you know what? I can't, I can't bank fish. You know, I can't, I can't make good videos from the bank. You know, I can't, I can't skip from the bank can't do certain techniques, can't get to where the fish are at. That's the next crock, all right? It's mistake number two. You can fish from a boat, you can fish from a bank. Like right now, go ahead and look over there, all right? Where are we at? We're at a freaking bank. The only difference is, is I'm throwing towards the bank instead of away from it. So I mean, even that's a load. You know, it's just, you see what other people have on YouTube, you know, like Tyler Reels Fishing, Lojo, and you see them on a boat and yeah, it's nice to fish from a boat. You know, we just got this boat. And you know, it's broke down on us a couple times. Uh. This is our, what, fourth time taking it out? Things are gonna break, but the thing is, is like we got this boat because I felt like I couldn't make videos without it. And like I said, I'm just being brutally honest right now. These are the mistakes that you're gonna make. These are the illusions you're gonna believe that if you just get that lore that no one's ever seen before and that you're gonna make it. And it's just not that. It's just not that. Like uh, if I've learned anything, there's no rhyme or reason, especially when you first start out that a video does well or does poorly. I mean, granted, I mean, if you look at, like we did a reveal, a review on a new reel that just came out. Right here. Uh, we just did a review on this reel. Uh, it's the Inception G2 by 13 Fishing, uh, Gerald Swindle's signature uh, setup. Uh, we haven't done a review on this rod, but 
that's our best performing long um, long form format video guys and they've shown it to 2200 people and I think 209 people clicked on it so I mean we're maybe at 10% or 6% or whatever the percentage is of how many people are actually seeing it and clicking on it which brings me into mistake number three all right not everything is content all right like we were filming everything and I mean, still are. The thing is, is you need to think quality, not quantity, especially starting out. We started out two videos every week, which we're gonna try and maintain, because that's the goal, right? Everyone, ever, all the big guys that have been doing it, they do two videos, but they, this is their job, right? We're just starting out. I, I work full time as a police officer, you know, and right now, you know, we're, I work nights, so, this is my day off and you know I had to sleep in because I'm on that night shift and but right now it's 96 degrees out here. I mean you could probably see me sweating like it it's super hot. Which brings me into mistake number 4. You're going to have to sacrifice. You know like it, it's just the cold hard game. Like to get the edits where they need to be you need to spend hours editing your videos, not just slapping them together. Because the thing is, is you got to keep them engaged. You got to keep the audience engaged. And you know, like even with you guys right here, you know, this one take, right? You probably have seen eight different edits of examples, right? But that's, I had to dig for hours to find those videos to slap them in where they needed to go, right? But this one take, I mean, we've been filming this for like five minutes. You know, but you got to keep them engaged. And the only way to do that is to create a storyline, realize that you just fishing a bank and hopefully catching a fish. No one wants to sit there and see you fish. I mean, for the most part, yeah. I mean, you could do something along the lines of entertainment. People just want to relax, watch someone else fail or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But on this channel, one of the content I love making is adventure vlogs. Like, you know, just going out to a new lake and fishing. You know, show what people is out there. But even then, you gotta have some kind of story of how it progressed, like getting ready to go, going to the secret lake, where, where how you're choosing where to start fishing, you know, and what to expect there. I mean, it's not just as simple as like me going out and fishing. And you need to find some kind of beneficial proposition for your audience. You know, what are they getting out of watching your video? Whether it's, you know, a little comedy entertainment like with what Yak Pack and uh, AO Fishing and, and so many of them do. You know, it's not just watching someone fish. It's them doing fun, entertaining challenges. You know, like that's what works good for their channels. And, you know, like we all enjoy watching them. You know, uh, like me, I'm more of a... All, you know, everyday American fishermen. Like, I just like exploring, you know, seeing where I can catch fish. And, you know, like, one thing of where I want to progress is tournament fishing. So, like, to me, this is my journey to becoming a professional fisherman where my job is fishing. You know, whether it be on the bait and tackle side, uh, on the entertainment side, uh, here on YouTube, or in competing. Like, that, those are my personal goals, and that's what my channel is based around, is just, like, where my journey is in fishing, you know, and we do, oh man, guys, I, I don't know if you can hear all the bass, like, it's got me twitching, all right, I'm, I'm a bass fishing addict, which brings me to mistake number five, all right, so we have gone several places so far and not caught fish, and it's because, and I've lost my shit on video. Yep, just getting stuck. Oh my. Why does this stupid shit keep happening to me? Because all the pressure of not catching a fish and no one's going to want to watch my channel if I don't catch a fish. But that's not true either. Um, my point being is there are tons of channels like Tyler Reels Fishing that does tutorials on how to fish, how to catch more fish. And his advice is great. But I can't count how many videos I watched of his where he's given advice on how to catch a fish using a certain technique and he doesn't catch a fish in that video. Does it mean his advice is bad? No. Sometimes the bass are not where they where you're fishing. It, it, it just is what it is. They move around. 
obviously you can hear from them splashing behind us that there are a couple bass here, but for the most part, you don't need to catch a fish to keep people engaged. You just have to create a story. That's really all you need to do. Like with Tyler Reels Fishing, he does such a good job with showing you what kind of lure uh, you want to be fishing, how to fish that lure, and he keeps it engaging with how he edits from his GoPro to his DSLR. And, and honestly, like those editing skills are something you're just going to have to learn, which brings me on to mistake number five. Six. Six. Mistake number six. All right. You don't need the nicest software. You don't need the nicest cameras, right? Right now, I'm using a Canon M1, EOS M1. 50 I think I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll link it down in the description it's a $500 camera right it's uh, a DSLR does not shoot in 4k all right I also got it used on Facebook market for like I mean it's $500 camera. I think we spent like 350 and then uh, I'm using a GoPro 7 white which is an old GoPro from like three or four years ago um, batteries built into it so you only get two hours filming time so but that's what I'm using. I'm not using anything fancy. None of my stuff has 4K because I can't afford that stuff. You know, like I don't have the money. But, and you know, I kept telling myself that I needed all these things in order to make good videos. Hey, how's it going, bud? You wanna? No? No landy landy? It's looking for a cool place to right. land. Which brings me to my next point. Like when it comes to editing, some of my best editing were on my worst videos. You know, like videos, like I wasn't even, like, if you see the editing on the uh, saltwater video, my first saltwater video, I started, like, experimenting a little bit because I figured, hey, no one's going to want to see this. You know, no one's going to watch this. I'm a bass fisherman. No one wants to see a bass fisherman go salt fishing. But I, I, I experimented with my editing, and some of my best edits came from there, and I got my best feedback from that video. And it was primarily shot with one camera like throughout different parts of the day and I just took a piece of snippet from the later part of the day of like just something a little humorous like because I, I took a, a bait caster on the beach trying to surf fish with a bait caster and it was just like a little insert of like me saying while I was sitting on a couch later on in the day that I was a bass fisherman and I didn't know what I was doing but just snipping that over me fishing the beach like people enjoyed that and something as simple as like when my brother-in-law came in just throwing an arrow and putting the brother-in-law like just that kind of stuff like those little editing tools that's what you need to spend your time focusing and learning how to do because anyone can stack a GoPro behind another GoPro and not care how it blends together you need to pace everything to where the edits make sense and it creates a storyline that's how you keep everyone engaged and I'm not gonna say that I have done that, you know, because our first 16 videos, I think we're up to 16 now. This will be number 17, I believe. They're crap. I'll be completely honest with you guys. They're crap. This video is going to be crap. But you know what? I wanted to make this video right now because my expectations was I've watched all these other guys. I know how to edit. You know, I went to school for audio engineering, uh, cinematography, and all this other stuff. I might not have the nicest software and all that crap like I did back then, but, you know, I have a good idea of how to do all this stuff. My videos are going to take off. But you want to know what my videos lack is a storyline. And if I'm being brutally honest with myself, because you have to be brutally honest with yourself to make, to get better. Which brings me to the last and most important mistake I have made thus far and that is just not being yourself right I'm a police officer I'm used to putting on a fake face hiding all my emotions and being a robot that is what I'm used to when I'm on camera because it's just I can't have emotions when I'm on a scene or something like that but this is fishing this is what's fun for me this is how I de-stress and but as soon as you put a camera in my face, I just default like, okay, Stevie Brave cannot come out to play. He can't because a camera's out. But 
that is the honestly the biggest mistake I've made thus far is just not showing who I am because not having not putting my personality into it, not putting all of me into these videos. Starting today, we're gonna be ourselves on YouTube. Actually, believe it or not, that saltwater video, like I said, that I felt like no one was gonna see. That's where you see my personality come out the most out of all my videos. I didn't think I was even gonna actually post it, but you know, like we were on vacation, we needed a video, so we ended up posting it. But that video, I had the most fun filming and it's because I was myself. And when you're yourself, and believe it or not, this is a bass fishing channel and that saltwater video has done better than probably a good 70% of our videos. And it's just because I was myself. My wife keeps saying vulnerability, but let's just be honest, like I'm not a very vulnerable guy. I'm, I'm trying to be more real, you know, with you guys, because honestly, I feel like even as a cop, I feel transparency is the best policy. So we're just gonna be brutally honest. I wasted money on rods and reels, thousands of dollars. I wasted money on this boat that keeps breaking down on us every time we go out. And you know what? I've wasted so much time feeling like, feeling the pressure of having to catch a fish. All right? You want to be successful on YouTube in 2023? This is how you do it. All right? These aren't mistakes. This is how you need to do it. And it's because it's not rocket science. You can literally look at everyone that's successful doing an outdoor fishing channel and their number one thing that makes all of them enjoyable to watch is that they're all out there having fun. No one wants to see it here and watch a video of, of you struggling because they're already struggling in their life. This is their escape. So show how much fun you enjoy or how much you enjoy fishing. Like I love fishing, but you know, since I started YouTube, it has become stressful and it shouldn't have. Like I like making videos and I love fishing and this is a way that they can come together. But I kept feeling like I had to make the next viral video. I had to do this. I had to do that to make it. And the thing is, is like our channel's growing regardless. You know, it's, you know, we are a month and a half in and we have like 39 subscribers, maybe 40 right now. I don't know. I haven't checked it today, but don't get caught up in that. You're it, when you first start out, everything's going to suck. Your editing's going to suck. Your videos are going to suck. You're not going to catch fish. You know, you're not going to have the best gear. And the thing is, is like, there's no point of stressing yourself out. If I knew what I knew now, even a month and a half ago, you know, I feel like those numbers would be better. We've learned a lot from other YouTubers and like I said, but this is part of the growing pains of starting a channel. All right. It does not matter, but in six months, I'm going to come back and we're going to do this video again. All right. We're going to show you how far we've come, what we're doing different and all that kind of stuff. Cause we're going to keep experimenting until we find that secret sauce guys. And of course we're not going to put stress on it. If it takes off, great. If it doesn't, Great, I still enjoy myself. I'm still fishing and I'm still making videos. It's enjoyable. If you're starting your own outdoor fishing channel, yeah, go ahead and link your channel down in the comments. I'll subscribe to you. I will watch your videos. You know, I love watching fishing videos. If you wanna see more videos like this, like I said, I'll do it every six months to show us, show you our growth, show you what we're doing. Um, if you wanna see my fishing videos, you know, definitely subscribe so you can see those. And as always guys, we love hearing from you. Thank you so much for coming and checking us out today. Now go catch a fish.